What's good, G's Prince Sports reporting to you live outside, getting some fresh air, man, and another nighttime edition video. I thought I'd talk about what that blowout game between the Denver Nuggets and Lakers. But before that, when it pertains to the Lakers, this is a team that was perceived as um, a title contender, right? This was a team that had three all-stars on it, right? Labeled a super team. This was a team that most people thought was going to the finals or either going to win the championship. Now, what if I was to tell you, maybe they don't even make the playoffs. So if they don't make the playoffs, what do you do with a team like that? Here's my best guess, okay? In this game with the Denver Nuggets, you had LeBron looking to try to get his numbers again, playing five minutes early into the fourth quarter when they were the game was already blown out proportion. Devin Nuggets was stopping a mud hole in the Lakers. They beat them by 37 plus points. Um, so, what do you do with this Lakers team right now, then? Now, check out what this guy said about the Lakers game and all these players trying to get numbers. Really quickly, I just want to touch on like lebron's 25 and 9 that was like the most lackadaisical 25 and 9 i've ever seen from lebron like it and also i don't i don't want to say it but i mean why is he in unless he's like trying to get that scoring title i'm not saying that that's his motive but i mean you're down 26 27 at that point going into the fourth I'm like, okay lebron please sit down and he plays the first what five minutes of the fourth quarter like for what um, but yeah, man, just the, the energy and effort. So with that being said, sorry about that little interruptions. Okay. What do you do with this Lakers team? Here's what you do with them. LeBron James is entering his last year as being a Los Angeles Laker, right? His very last year, his contract is almost up. So you go to LeBron and you tell him, Hey bro, this your last year. You won one championship with us. We're not going to two-peat. We're not going to three-peat. Instead of you holding our franchise hostage and we'd be sucky for the next few years to come, why won't you go back to Cleveland for your final season? There he could stat pad and get all the numbers and break some records, and the Cavaliers still won't win the championship, but at least he gets his stats, and that's what he's looking for. He don't care about playing defense. He don't care about winning games. He just wants numbers. He just wants stats. So... Why not go to the Cleveland Cavaliers, right? Russell Westbrook, you trade him for as much as good pieces as you can. Get new, get some draft picks, get Westbrook out of there, all right? Do him a favor and get him out of that hellhole. And then you can hold on to Anthony Davis and build the team around Anthony Davis and a bunch of young pieces. That makes actually more sense for the Los Angeles Lakers heading into next season. Why do you need to continue with this LeBron James um, saga? He's old. He's going to retire soon. So get rid of him now while he has some trade value and let him go. Now, he's probably not going to get traded unless he's asked for it, of course. But if you're LeBron James, ask for that trade. If you're the Lakers, sit down and talk to him and get him up out of there. I think LeBron James and Russell Westbrook could say bye-bye. Okay? If there's no need to keep them on the Lakers at right now, you know. You guys were in the championship mode, okay. Now you got your one championship, what some people call a COVID championship. But nevertheless, you still got one banner up there. Retire and leave the Lakers gracefully. You know, deep down inside, LeBron James is a Cavalier. So why not go back there and retire in the Cavaliers jersey? Let Westbrook go to Philly or some other place. And you could probably get Ben Simmons or something like that. Team him up with Anthony Davis. And you guys could build around draft picks and a bunch of young pieces. And I guaranteed you, you would be a much better, exciting team. All right? You'd probably be like the Denver Nuggets with a bu bunch of potential good players, um, good all-stars, you know, at least two. You know, you don't need a bunch of them to win. And keep it moving from there. You know, there's no need for the Lakers to continue this this experiment okay LeBron James got Russell Westbrook on the team he wanted another big three this is a failed experiment the super team thing let it go go back to Cleveland get your numbers everybody happy
you know, Westbrook, he could go to Philly and stat pad there too. Because that whole team looks like all they care about is padding stats and getting their own individual numbers. Nobody on that team is willing to sacrifice to try to win. Nobody plays defense. Everybody just wants the ball to score points. If you play basketball like I play, you know that when some, some stuff hits the fan, it's time to let it go. So make that move, Lakers. Print Sports out. Peace.